Hi everyone! Are you looking to upgrade your computer storage space without reinstalling your operating system? In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of migrating your operating system to a new drive using two powerful and free tools, Haslio Disk Clone and AOMA Partition Assistant. If you're looking to upgrade your hard drive, this tutorial is perfect for you. We'll show you step by step how to use these two software programs to clone your system and avoid the hassle of reinstalling Windows from scratch. First, let me tell you a story about how I recently helped a friend of mine to upgrade his old computer hard drive. He had been using a 120 gigabyte SSD and there was only 17 gigabytes free space left. He wanted to upgrade to a 500 gigabyte SSD but did not know which free software could help him migrate the OS to the new hard drive. He wanted some demonstration in advance before ordering a new SSD. I got a chance to look at his computer and found that the main board still had one SATA port available. So I made a sample upgrade to a 250GB hard drive and recorded this video to share with you guys how easy it can be done. In the video, I recommend using Haslio Disk Clone. It's free and fast. Additionally, if you are migrating the OS to a larger hard drive and there is unallocated space on the larger hard drive that you want to extend your C drive using that unallocated space, I suggest using the latest AOMA Partition Assistant version 9.15 because it's powerful and also free. Now, some of you may be wondering which is better. SSD or NVMe. If your main board supports NVMe, I would recommend going with NVMe because it's six times faster than SSD. SSD transfer rates are only 560 megabytes per second, while NVMe can reach 3500 megabytes per second and above, and the price difference is not so much, but your PC will boot faster with the NVMe. I'll show you the price comparison between a 500 gigabyte SSD and NVMe on the screen. As you can see, the price difference is not such a big deal, but the benefits are huge. Your Windows boot time will be very fast. However, it's important to check if your motherboard supports NVMe or SSD before proceeding. The operating system migration process is straightforward. First, connect the larger hard drive to the computer and boot it up with the original hard drive. Then, download the free Haslio Backup Suite free version 3.4 from this website and install it by changing the language or clicking on OK, accepting the agreement. The installation is quick and finish. Next, download the AOMA Partition Assistant, which is a free disk partition software for home and personal use. Install it by changing the language or clicking on OK, then clicking on Install Now. To begin cloning the disk, open Haslio Backup Suite, go to Tool, and select Disk Clone. In the wizard, select Disk 1 as source disk, which includes all hidden partitions and the C drive. Next, select Disk 0 as the location to clone to. The wizard will give you the option to clone as GPT, sector by sector, or keep partition layout. For now, I am not going to select any of these options and proceed to the next step. Review the disk layout on the target disk, which will have an unallocated space of 121GB at the end due to its larger size. At this point, you cannot change the size of the system reserve, D drive for Windows OS, or other hidden partitions. You can, however, resize the recovery partition by dragging the small arrow to the far right. To extend the Windows drive, you will need the help of Partition Assistant. Press the Proceed button and let Partition Assistant detect the partitions that were copied over. After a few seconds, the software will copy over the Windows OS system and a small hidden partition. 
the recovery partition is the last partition to be copied over. And the cloning process takes approximately 13 minutes. Once the cloning process is complete, you can merge the unallocated space with the Windows system drive. Right click on the unallocated space, select Merge Partition, and select the Windows system drive as the second item in the merge list. Confirm the merge and click on Apply to extend the Windows system drive to 222GB. Three changes will occur. Moving the recovery partition to the end of the hard drive, moving the unallocated space up next to the Windows system drive, and resizing the Windows system drive. Review the changes and click on Proceed to apply them. Partition Assistant makes it easy to change the partition layout on the destination. In the following section, I will demonstrate a common issue that some individuals may encounter when cloning and resizing a partition. Specifically, the computer may not be able to boot with the new hard drive. If this situation arises, you can resolve it by rebuilding the partition table. To do so, right-click on the destination disk, select Rebuild MBR, review the changes, and click on Apply. Afterwards, click on Proceed. To ensure that the computer boots up with the new hard drive, you will need to modify the boot order. Begin by accessing the BIOS, then navigate to the boot menu. Change the first boot option to the new hard drive and save your changes before exiting. By completing these steps, your computer should now boot up with the new hard drive, and you should be able to see that the Windows OS has been migrated to it. The C drive size should be 222GB, and it should have 137GB of free space. To hide the recovery partition, right-click on it. Select Advanced, choose High Partition, and then click OK. You might be wondering what to do with disk 1. I suggest keeping it for a while and testing the new hard drive until you are satisfied with its performance. After that, you can wipe the hard drive or delete all partitions on it and use it as a data disk. Please remember to back up your current Windows OS before doing so. You can use the Hayeslio backup suite or refer to one of my previous videos on how to back up Windows using AOMA Backupper Standard. Finally, to ensure that Windows is activated on the new hard drive, go to the search bar and enter Activation Settings. As you can see, this Windows 10 is already activated with a digital license. So that is all about migrating Windows to a new SSD or NVMe. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking on the subscribe button and see our next video. Thank you for watching.